fansupermart.com. Hello, everyone. With growing needs from global investors to trade the onshore Chinese bond market, today we have Mr. Xiaoning Meng, Fixed Income Portfolio Manager of CSOP Asset Management, to dissect the features of China onshore bonds. Hi, Xiaoning. Thanks for joining us. China onshore bonds have become more popular in recent years. How attractive are they when compared with the other types of bonds? I think with the uh, step of uh, RMB internationalization and uh, China gradually open its uh, capital markets, we have more and more choice to investment in the China. And you know, China has a very big bond market. It's relatively um, ranking for the uh, second large in the world. And right now, we have not much uh, asset or instrument we can invest directly into China or into the RMB asset. But with the uh, opening of the China bond market, we will have more and more choice. And you will compare with the uh, China onshore bond market and the offshore Dimson bond market, we will easily find that the onshore will provide more and more bond choice, uh, like the uh, different issuer and different type of bond. And also we have a full maturity of our curve. And simply we will have a higher yield because of uh, China have a relative higher benchmark on the interest rate. Uh, also, we will have a very clear uh, view on the uh, China fundamentals because we will have uh, economic release every month and we will have all the export import data and the CPI and the GDP data. Uh, that's much better than the, uh, what we have in the offshore market. So for the investor, investors, we will basically have a very, very clear view on the uh, market and on the uh, interest rate side. So I believe that the uh, invest in the uh, China onshore market do have a, mm, a very good choice for the uh, all kind of investors. The China onshore bond market is a large scale market by itself. But how established is it in terms of development? In addition, how will it be affected by the central government's financial reforms, especially the interest rate liberalization? The China bond market has been developed since the uh, 1997. Uh, it's the, almost more than uh, 16 years. And right now we have a very, mm, in terms of the size, we have a very big in the uh, bond market. Uh, we have uh, almost every kind of issuer in the market. Uh, right now we have a new stage for the market because the uh, central government will release more resource in the market and we will have the interest rate liberalization just as you talked. And definitely for the investor, we will have more and more choice. Uh, take this for example, you, you will find that the last year we have more and more mind market fund and you even can have some uh, investment direct from the internet. It's very easy for the uh, almost every investors to do that. So I believe that with the uh, market opening and with the uh, interest rate liberalization, so all the kind of investors will have more and more choice on the uh, investment. And also it will have to find some uh, new asset or even that uh, hasn't been discovered by the uh, market or by the investors before. But right now we will have more and more Mm, to be found in the market. The credit rating for China onshore bonds is assessed by mainland rating agencies. In this regard, are there any risks that investors should be aware of? Uh, as you said, many of the China issuer and Chinese bonds have the uh, domestic ratings by the uh, onshore rating agencies, but only a few of them are rated by the international rating agencies. I believe there is a difference in the uh, rating methodologies between the uh, onshore rating agency and the uh, offshore international rating agencies. Because in onshore, people usually look at the uh, company's background more important. Uh, take this for example, when a company has some uh, solid relations with uh, local government or they have some uh, partnership with the uh, um, government, usually they will have more and more resource and the people usually believe that they won't have a difficulty in the uh, running business. Uh, so that they may have some uh, more enhancement in the uh, ratings. Uh, what I can bear to the uh, investors, what the uh, offshore investors can bear in mind that they can look at more 
about the uh, financial statement rather than the uh, their backgrounds, so that they will have a more more clear uh, about the uh, company's financial background and to compare with the other peers. What is your view on the outlook of the China onshore bond market? I think with the uh, China gradually opening its uh, capital markets, you, uh, especially through the QV and RQV quarter scheme, uh, people will find more they can invest in the onshore China capital market. I think in the uh, past 10 years, people find that we have a lot of uh, equity products in the onshore and the people get familiar with the uh, A-share. But right now, through the uh, QFI and RQFI, you will find more and more beyond the uh, equity market, uh, that is uh, the bond market, and uh, maybe more and more in the future. I think it will help the uh, investor to have more and more choice and to look at the, uh, how people can invest in China and how they can get the value from the uh, uh, China's further development and China's growth.